Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the welterweight bout between Bilal Muhammad versus Gilbert Burns or the Gilbert Burns versus Bilal Muhammad. Either way, it's going to be. This is two people fighting. So <laughs> this guy is first or this guy is second. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. But um, yeah, my friend, I'm going to switch around. I know Gilbert Burns is ranked higher. So Gilbert Burns versus Bilal Muhammad. You know, enter this way, the title is going to be Gilbert Burns versus Bilal Muhammad. If it even matters to anyone, like I said, I don't know, no matter who cares. We know who's fighting who. We don't really care. Like, but some people be all pressed. Like, Gilbert Burns should be the red corner. He should be first. But even though I never really got that from no one. So, a minute to the video. This guy talking about nothing. Click the video off. But, um, yeah, as far as confidence here, I'm going average confidence Bilal Muhammad to beat um Gilbert Burns. I just think, um, I like Bilal Muhammad, especially in a five-round fight. I feel like he's a, more so the cardio fighter. I feel like he's more defensively sound. He has better footwork. And, um, yeah, that's my take on it. But um, I also think, even though the combination of my fight boosted um, Burns up, I feel like also could also, you know, make people a little bit delusional in some cases. Not to say that they're delusional for picking him, but maybe they're just overconfident or, confident or underconfident in um, Bilal Muhammad. But, by the way, this is a very, very close fight. This ain't the case like, oh, Bilal Muhammad, the clear winner. If you're thinking otherwise, you're stupid. This ain't Gil Burns winning. If otherwise, you're stupid. It's not that at all. It's a very toss-up fight. But I think five rounds definitely helps Bilal more than it helps Burns, in my opinion. And also, I like Bilal's recent performances more than I like um, Gil Burns. He did a good performance against um, Kham Zachamai. That was phenomenal in the loss. As far as what he won so far, I wasn't super impressed. Jorge Masvidal was a very disappointing performance. Very disappointed. He really do nothing great on the feet. He just did what he just did enough. That's about it. That's all you can say. He did enough. He did. He did just enough to win. Nothing phenomenal. And nothing amazing about the performance. Kobe did it better. Usman did better. He, like I said, he he did up no one. Like he fought. He got he got the third in the rotation. And he did the least impressive performance over him. And I'm not. I'm just being honest. And then um, who else? He looked a little bit lost on the feet. He lost a whole. He lost a whole round to Jorge Masvidal. Like he was so lost on the feet, and Jorge Masvidal just doing jumping switch kicks on him, just kicking him all which way. And um, Gil Burns looked scared and lost on the feet. Where in reality, he should have been able to do what he did in the second and third rounds early. But hey, maybe he was trying to trick um Jorge Masvidal. Maybe he was actually trying to go back on that old um clause or something. Play on that. Like I'll strike with you. I ain't gonna take you down. When they were talk, ar not arguing, but chatting on Twitter, like. Couple months before the fight, like I'll trade with you or whatnot. Matter of fact, before the fight it was even scheduled, but uh, yeah, was not impressed with that performance. And then who he beat before then? Are um yeah, he beat Neil Magny, super unimpressive win. People might say, oh, it's, it's Neil Magny, but look at Neil Magny. Not to say that no one saw Neil Magny, like look at him, he's funny looking or something like that. But look at his track record against every single BJJ guy, he gets tooled on the ground. So that's historic. That happens every single time he goes in with a, B, a legit BJJ black, but he gets tooled and tapped out. And he got two tapped out. So he did. He looked good doing something to a guy that gets done that way by any good black boy he fights. So not impressed in that performance. Not impressed in the last performance. With Bilal, I think all three of his last performances have been impressive. He fought Steve Wonderboy Thompson and did a much better job than Burns did and like just neutralizing um, uh, Wonderboy. Really, Bilal, I mean, not Bilal, Burns really just took um, um, Thompson down and held on for dear life, did a little bit of ground pound. With Bilal, was literally just dropping heavy ground pound and just wrecking. See one boy Tom look made him look awful in that fight. Like destroyed one boy Tom. He didn't get a finish, but he was way closer to getting a finish than um Bilal, than um Burns ever was. So his performance over Thompson was way superior to than to over Burns' performance over um, Thompson. So I'm going MMA calculus here. And then he went on like I think every single one of these fights, um, his last three fights, he'd been a dog. He avenged the loss to a guy who destroyed him a couple years back. He beat um like so he beat Vicente Luque. Real good fight on that, real good performance, mixes out well against Vicente Luque, who's a much more technical striker than Burns. And then um he beat um Sean Brady, who was a very highly touted prospect contender. So I like his performances much better than um what I've been saying from Burns. And yeah, this is a whole long video. I'm about to try to wrap it up. So ultimately I feel Bilal has better footwork. I feel like he has better cardio. I feel like the bonus of technique on his feet is much sharper than um, Burns. Burns is more explosive and have more power. A lot of times Burns be swinging wide, like straight arm hooks. But the fact he got so much power, it works. But his hands always drop, chin up, throw big hooks. And then it's like, don't bring his hands back up. Never really brings his hands back up. Or I feel like Blaw kind of keeps his hands up. He moves he moves his head. He mixes kicks. He works behind the jab more. 
with like Burns, like again, this big overhand, big explosion. He's not really the most technical striker, but he's explosive. He got power, and you know, you got the threat of the jiu jitsu. But his technique, his technique on the feet, actually, not that sharp. It's really not that sharp. I feel like Burns, Blaw is much more technical on the feet. Again, don't have as much power, but he's more technical, more composed, better footwork, all those things, better defensively than what Burns has ever shown. But again, power can confuse people. But I think Blaw ultimately is the more technical striker. I think Burns is the more technical grappler, but again, Bilal has very good takedown defense, very good cardio, good footwork. So I think he gets stuff to takedowns. Look to use some kicks similar to um, the way um, Jorge Mazzo did in their fight, you know, early on. But not obviously to the same degree, but we also have the ability to defend takedowns and, you know, be able to keep, not be as worried about Burns taking him down and land on him. I don't think he'll be able to do that well against Bilal Mahan. I think Bilal should be able to defend the takedowns. Should be able to use his feet. Should be able to outbox him. Should be able to mix in the kicks. This guy will be weary of the power at all times. Both men think he'll be able to outland him, outwork him, and in the stretch, should be able to really start to pile it up on him. I don't think he stops Burns at all. I think it's a very competitive fight. Definitely some scary first rounds, but the fact that he has five rounds to work with, you know, just give him more room to maybe be a little bit laid back. And I had a few cases like, oh, I gotta, I gotta go into the fire because it's only a three round fight. I can't allow Burns to just keep me on the back foot and throwing big bombs. Even if he's not landing, the judge is gonna see I'm on the back foot. And this guy loading up and throwing big shots, exploding, throwing big looping Congo banging hooks. You know how he be throwing his chin be up in the air, swinging, throwing big shots. But because he's so explosive, has so much heavy hands, like this guy is more technical. He's not. He just hits harder and more explosive, but he's not more technical than Bilal on the feet at all. So yeah, he's gonna come about to swing those big Congo banging hooks and stuff. And now, like I said, you got rounds, you can kind of just avoid them, kick his leg, get out of there, pep him with a jab, and have him missing, bite on the mouthpiece, swinging, eating his lip, <laughs> swinging big shots, and then let him miss those early couple rounds. And then later rounds, you can start to come on a little bit more. So now you got more rounds to dance. You got more rounds to dance. Rounds to let Burns exhaust himself, let Burns commit, overcommit, try to go death right on some takedowns or trying to be explosive, let that explosive energy drain out. And then the more technical, more composed, more complete fighter will win the fight. And I think that's Bilal Muhammad. No insult to Burns, but I think Bilal is the more complete fighter. And I think he's the more technical fighter. And I think he's the more composed fighter. So in this one, I got Bilal Muhammad via decision.